out on the kayak today fishing for Murray Cod. Today's session I'm just going to be using this Z-Man frog here. I've never fished these frog lures on the surface before, so I'm really excited to give it a go and see how the cod responds to it. Anyway, make sure you subscribe to the channel and let's get stuck into things. First cast. <laughs> I haven't even worked out what I was going to do with this lure yet. And I've been hit by a little one. So I'm, I'm out today fishing this frog here. I'm just marking around trying to get the hang of what it does. Never fished one of these before, so I gotta hit first cast, which is always a good start, but just trying to get the hang of sort of how it responds to various different inputs, what it's like to skip cast, all that sort of thing, and use that to sort of guide what I do this session as far as retrieves and techniques go. That was a fish. Bastard. How can I snag the tiniest of twigs like that and I can't hook a fish? Yeah. Oh god. It's still there. Oh my god. Come on. Little trout cod. Nailed it in that fast water. He bricked me while he was at it. Oh, this is real awkward. My kayak's trying to pull away. Um, might just hoist you over. Oh, there. Oh, no. There we go. Oh, gee whiz. That was an ordeal. Yep. That was cool. Just a little Murray cod, but he 
hammered that frog in that little corner. There we go. Absolute rat, but that was such a cool leap. Oh, one just swirled under that. Come on, eat it. Eat it. a better fish. Oh, it's right back in there too. That was a nice fish, I got a good look at him. He just didn't eat it properly. Uh, typically after missing a fish the way that last one did, I'd uh, change to something that's got trebles on it for one, and two, I'd probably go just subsurface. Um, maybe either a slow sinking swim bait or a wake bait, or even a shallow diving crank. Uh, that fish didn't seem like it was overly keen to come up to the top and didn't really commit to eating this frog but it nipped at the back of it so the trebles obviously to sort of pin it in the first place but I just think if it was just a little bit lower on the water column it would have eaten it with a bit more confidence in there but I'm here to fish the frog so it's going to stay on. Yep. Oh no. Oh. I tried to muscle him over that log. Get through a lot of plastic there. That's really unfortunate. It wasn't a big fish, but you've only caught two. You kind of want to get more on the board. Is this a good fish? I haven't seen it yet. No, nope, it's just wrapped up in the line.
Oh no. Got him out. My reel wasn't even gear yet. There we go. The uh, trout cod certainly like these frogs. Oh. oh god. <laughs> Nearly had a runaway yak. And this is why I come back early now. Got a beautiful sunset over there and you need to do this part here before it sets or it's really really awkward. <sighs> I'm so lucky they're this close together. Any further apart and I'd have to do it twice. <laughs> it's just a leap of faith. That finishes up this afternoon session throwing around that Z-Man frog. Pretty fun little afternoon on the water and I managed to pull some fish from some pretty interesting places on that frog. It was a lot of fun to fish and I think it's something that I'll sort of tie on when I'm fishing during the day looking for that surface bite in those tight little areas. Anyway, make sure you subscribe to the channel and I'll catch you next time.